kill the McCoy now. What? Kuamala no. Alright, welcome back to Cold of the Land. This is everything we've seen. So we will just zoom through all this as fast as we can. The game is finally out, and now I get to enjoy it, which is awesome. I've been literally thinking about this for the past 24 hours. Yep. We all know how this goes. They try killing me, I get accepted into a cult, the end. Let's get this show on the road. Absolutely. All we gotta do is get past the, uh, the beginning tutorial. But no, yeah, I have been looking forward to this game for, like I said, ever since I started playing it yesterday, which doesn't seem that long, but it grew on me very quick. I'm glad I finally get to play it and be able to beat it. From what I heard, it's not that long of a game. Maybe like 13, 15 hours. But I'm going to enjoy it nonetheless. We got tarot cards over here. Oh, we don't have tarot cards over here. I thought this was the tarot card, dude. Maybe that's the next dungeon. This is still the beginner, be your first follower one. Yep, we get all our coins and it's gonna be help me. I don't got any health, so I don't gotta worry about taking damage right now. Let us rescue him. Yada yada, uh... Let's go ex extra hard. I'm pretty familiar with these types of games. I'm hoping that just means the dungeon crawler aspect, not the city builder aspect, because... Holy shit, am I bad at city builders. Gain 10 faith, 15% harder to level up, heal 600 faster when in bed. 
Yeah, I got this cool new form. So our first guy will be that. It will be a purple Cthulhu. Yeah, purple Cthulhu. Arno. Oaks and trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna want me to get stone and trees. Those two. We will place you right there. Yep, we gotta watch out for the hunger of everyone. And bam. Now we should be able to run right in. Here we go, this is where the fun begins. Also, I don't know how all the uncut things are will work. Uh, I'm not going to do it for a lot of games. I plan to do it just for this and maybe some other games similar to this. I'm not the best at talking the entire time, but we will see. I, I, I'll, I'll make it work. I'm going to try my very best to keep it entertaining the entire time. I feel like with these games, it, you don't have to worry about keeping it entertaining. Or keeping it entertaining, yes, yeah, so but I feel like you don't have to worry about editing it. Alright, is it double damage on extra hard? Or is it just I don't have any fervor? I think it might be it. I still- I just have, uh, no health. But, I don't- it's not like I have any room to try. It seems like... I forgot what this means. Oh yeah, it's Leshy. How can this be? I put the blade lamb, as all your kind were. And yet you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown, its power, could it be? But I'm still stronger. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Nah, I'm good. The knockback's really my biggest enemy right now. chance to deal critical hit. Alright, so it seems like I have less health. I don't get a... I don't get a charged up attack. And maybe I only get one tarot card at a time. Gain an extra. Okay. Uh, I say we gain an extra permanent heart. Even though it is just half a heart. Permanent heart will be good. Lumber, food, or... I say we go food. Should have killed that uh, squirrel sooner. All 
Alright, let's see how the boss will go. These guys should drop wood, if I remember correctly. You just have to get... Yeah, far. That takes way too fucking long. That's not worth it. Alright, so is a critical strike an instant kill? I think a critical strike might be just an instant kill. And a lot of damage for if it's on a boss. Or it could be 2.5. I could see that too. I know sometimes it's 2.5, sometimes it's 2. I think that's the boss area, just because of the pathing on the ground. So we will explore just a bit more. I wish I got that earlier, but whatever. you come far enough, little lamb. My followers will not do anything for me. Can you, you say the same as yours? that hard. I'm glad I was able to change the difficulty. Make it a little bit more difficult. Because this is nothing right now. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. We'll gain lumber. And this is where the demo ended, right here. And we added it in half the time. You made it safely, and you have not returned alone. You have convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let us in Drakna's new convert so we can so we may continue. Lose 10 faith. 15% easier to level up. I like you how you are. You're pretty cool. You will mine stone. Also, the worker worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. your new follower, sign them to worship at the shrine, then collect the devotion your followers share and trying to unlock divine inspiration. Lose 10 faith in falling ill, gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Rejul. Collect the potion from your shrine. Once you collect enough, you will unlock divine inspiration. The more followers worshipping at your shrine, the faster they will fill up. If your shrine is full, they will stop worshipping until it's emptied. 
Once you collect divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrines. What the food of everyone is? Everyone good on that? There we go. For everyone. Oh, I have to collect it too. Temple. Farming or sleeping? I say we go sleep and then farm. No one... Can we mine this stone a lot sooner? Oh, that, that's gonna take fucking years. I still don't have enough. What happened to all my stone? There we go. Shrine right here. Or temple. This is the temple. is the center of your cult. From there, you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You're responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will descend against you and eventually leave. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you're either the great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. Face of the followers, you grow stronger. Performing ceremonies will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Follows the higher loyalty, generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal you are, the quicker you'll be able to gain new abilities. Only thing I can grab permanently gain a half a heart. That's fine. If I wasn't an extra heart, I'd be like, that's a dumb upgrade. You're amazing to behold, a natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you were to guide your cult, you will need to declare doctrine so they might obey you. Go to the lands of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these, you will be able to declare new doctrines. Oh no, we got the axe. The axe is so slow, I don't like it. That guy was just standing there, so I don't know if he was a friendly or something. Not a friendly. They just shoot projectiles. Glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. Oh, 
Okay. So now I have my ability. I just had to unlock it. Then you slim when I'll drop for war. Collect this to replenish your curses. So it's not even a hard thing. It's just I had to wait to unlock it. Cool, cool. Acquired a hay pile. Curses consume 25% less. I say soul heart. I haven't been taking much damage, but the other one, I don't, I don't see using my curses too often. They don't seem too strong, especially the one I have now. Well, we're gonna get stone, and we're gonna get a new follower. So I don't know if it's just the factor of the axe. But I do like how fast it mines things. We're all dead. Oh lord, how could I again? You see it in me, the darkness of my soul. Yeah, let's steal devotion. Why wouldn't we? Can we destroy it? We can. Oh, that's new. Flame shot two. Eons ago, these lands were rife with gods and their adherents. What befell this pantheon, alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget, and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them and theirs. There was... Twere a land of many gods once, hundreds now. Got a command of stone, declare new doctrines. What's up, G? So you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again, but what an unworthy bearer it has. Oh fuck, I got hit. I wasn't expecting this. Well, good thing I got soul hearts. I just wasn't expecting it is all, that's all. Now I can mess your shit up. Ah, that's a boss, so we go this way. Uh, since I'm fighting a boss, let's just go for the... the sea start. Valfir. Valfar? Not a fan of this boss. Uh, 
I rolled into that. Lovely. There we go. I wasn't a fan of him, but I got it. A moon necklace? I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna grab it. Followers will never sleep. Is that good or bad? I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I think after I kill four bosses, I'm able to fight Leshy. I think that's what that door means. Very good, my vessel. It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I'll be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. Sleeping quarters. What are these glowing orbs? I think that is decorations. Hurt me cold. I follow your teachings faithfully. Then our devotion slower. All right, cool. Then you're just not going to be part of the devotion. <laughs> you will also mine stone. Please spare me. God, everyone has something bad about them. Lose 10 faith and falling ill, 15% easier level up. And you will also worship. Yeah, let's get some sleeping bags. Expand the the red crown. And turn the flame to increase the cult's faith. It requires twenty five bones and ten wood. So I only get bones when I kill people. The curses will appear in your crusades. Bane weapons and chance of poisoning at fiends when attacking. They'll appear in your crusades. I'm fine with poison.
preaching sermons, performing rituals, and providing the needs for your followers will keep their faith high. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy the skeletons to gather their bones. To the lines of the old faith, gather bones from fallen enemies, recruit more followers, and turn to form a ritual. Our food's looking fine. Bainax. Oh, immediately into a tarot card. 10% chance to deal critical strike. Bones. Give me your bones. Sacrifice health? Okay. A single red heart was sacrificed. Hearts received in return. Alright, so I sacrificed a red heart for soul hearts. Which isn't the worst thing, because I can get my red hearts back if I don't lose my soul hearts in time, so it's technically I got more health. So these bone piles don't drop any bones, it looks like. It's only when I defeat people. Another heart. Now I have more than one I sacrificed and started with. Meat. Let's get another follower. Let's get another follower. My love took my heart into the sea. The sea, she took my heart to the sea. This is where my heart will be, will be in her bed at the bottom of the sea. Welcome, Crusader. Take a moment to join me in my search. I look for the heart that once beat in my chest. That is, that is until it was taken by her. I've been sitting here for so many years. Even her face has faded from my eye. Yet I keep searching, always searching. I have a dozen hearts you see, but none of them are mine. They are yours if you wish to have them, Crusader. They are worthless to me. I care only for the heart that was once mine so that I might look upon her face one last time. Cool, I'll take free hearts. I can't. That That's bullshit. It fell out of bounds. That's dumb. Alright, I got one heart out of it. We're fine. So it is true, the red crown sits upon the brow of another. But how? We did everything we could to. It matters not. We need not both Shamara. Shamara? We not bother Shamara with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. That's a new area. Yeah, this... I think this is an upgraded weapon. 
Step forward, beast, and the swirling mist of chaos that surround. Allow me to regard you wholly. You carry the weight of ages centuries upon such diminutive shoulders. Yet, what is this? It seems your stature is deceiving. Heaven is not without the hand that wields. To fall and to fell enemies, to defend honor, to break change. Let the crown take you the form of one of these works of iron, forged in everlasting fire. May you wield them, promise liberator. I think I'm gonna go with the Bane Sword. Just like faster weapons, my preferred way. Plus, if it does less damage, there's more of an increased chance to... What is it? Poison. Since I have to attack them more. Oh, that didn't reach. That's stupid. I'm not that exploring. So what? what is a moon necklace? So it says followers will never sleep, but they were definitely sleeping. I don't even know what hit me there, to be honest. Onwards. The worm is hungry. It feeds, it partakes of our flesh. But it's the price for safety, for that we gladly give it all we have. Welcome to my cold, brother. It's weird, interact is also the X button, so whenever I interact with someone, I just immediately slice their face off. Alright, boss battle time. Okay, so it just gets rebuilt afterwards. That's a new attack off of him. And I should have I oh fuck me. Well, now I have no health. I don't like chopping this tree. Something suspicious about it. I got a deceased heart. Never mind. I love chopping this tree. I'm taking too much damage. Tell me good, please. Deal poison damage to enemies struck. I already can deal poison, so I just gain an extra heart. Barbados.
Okay, that didn't hit me. That's bullshit. I will say this boss is significantly easier than the last one I fought. Or I could just run into him, you know, that works too. significantly easier. That should be what, a seven now? Do not make the mistake of becoming the servant of your followers. They are for you to use your advantage. Their faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold. You can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Let it empower you. Let it give you license to do unspeakable things and bend them to your will. I grant you the power to read their feeble little minds. Read the thoughts as well as see how hungry, tired, and sick they are. Guess who's back? We have a lot of things to do. We should have enough for one more, right? Oh no, not even close. Yeah, this place is gross. If you don't clean it up, someone will get sick. What's so sick about this place? Alright, oh, they got a- they have a poop corner. They have a poop corner. There's food for everyone. Start indoctrinating people. Oh, can I just kill you? You're you bring nothing to the party. I think I sent him to the lumber mill, so this guy will go to the stone mill. Or we can get another worshiper. Alright. We need more beds. We also need more food. Honor me, great leader. I'm eternally grateful. Yeah, we're gonna grab berries for a little bit. I do need a farm, so we probably will start that at some point. Move some people around and whatnot.
I wasn't done. Oh, I don't have any more grass. I'm out of fertilizer. We need more poop. We need more poop. Alright, we're gonna need a lot more food since we have literally seven followers. A lot more food, a lot more grass so we can make more uh, crops or uh, whatever it is. I do think it's the last of our few berry bushes. Yeah, I don't have two things for it always. Oh, there's one more. We're gonna wait for a devotion upgrade since we're right there. And we'll hold a sermon. Which might level me up? No. It's gonna bring me to eight. I don't need to perform it, but I think I do for a quest. Doctrine and followers is well and good, but there is much more you can take from them. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings from them, and you will increase their loyalty to you. Once they are lo totally loyal to you, they will give you everything they own. Watch as I show you. You follower, come back in here. No, not my Cthulhu guy! Okay, cool. I thought we were gonna kill him. The more loyal followers you have, the stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you, but I am old and grow weary. Visit me at my home and I'll show you how to harness your true power of the Red Crown. Lonely Shack. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this one here. Uh, I appreciate you all for watching. Uh, I do plan on streaming, or not streaming, but recording more of this and uploading it to YouTube. As always, if you like, uh, if you like the video, make sure to leave down a like, subscribe, follow me on twitch.tv slash crimson solar to watch me live, and, uh, have a good day.